Hi guys, Alistair Taylor here, and today I'm going to do a slightly different video from one I've done in the past. So very often when you're watching my videos, I'll be doing uh, club reviews, club comparisons, um, maybe even some tips on golf swing. But I'm going to do a golf swing analysis today, and I have done a few. I've done Rory in the past, people like that. But I'm going to do something different. I'm going to analyse my golf swing. So we're going to have a look at my swing, see why I do what I do in my golf swing, and maybe give you guys a bit of feedback as to what I work on. So I'm just going to hit seven iron, normal shot, working on what I normally focus on in my golf swing. We'll look at some video analysis, and then we'll come back afterwards, and hopefully you'll enjoy listening to what I work on in my swing, and certainly I'm gonna look forward to kind of your comments at the end. So, seven iron, like we said, just a normal shot. So I'm aiming straight at the target. And for me there, that's a pretty typical one. Sets off just right of target and kind of draws back to it. So that'll be a good swing to look at. Nothing unusual in there I would expect. So let's take a look, give you guys some feedback. Okay guys, so we can see face on and down the line. And what we see with my setup is that if anything, the shaft on the left hand side is probably a little bit straight. We'd maybe want to see the hands maybe a little bit more forward. Uh, more than anything with me though, that's probably because in the left hand, I'd be a little traditionally weak with my hold but it's very, very functional for me, and that's kind of how I get the club back. And like we see there, traditionally we'd have the hands more opposite the inside of the left thigh, and that would give us a, a probably more neutral address position to go from from there. So, as we look at it here, we can see that, take that line off, and we'll just start the backswing. We can see that as the club moves away, Everything's fairly neutral on there. Club moves first and the body follows. And it's fairly straightforward for me there, not trying to do anything fancy. But on the right hand side, we can see that as the club works away, if anything, the club gets a little bit behind me early on. So we see the club behind the hands there. And where we can see the club now behind my body and my hands there. A lot of players nowadays would have the club much more in line with the hands. Again, something I've always done, it's not something I'd be looking to particularly change. And I, when I have tried it, I've struggled a little bit getting where I need. So on the left-hand side, we'll run to the top and we see a, a decent sized shoulder turn, arm swing a little bit shorter, which gets the club slightly short of parallel, which again, I've done that a lot. On the right hand side, we can see that as the club starts to work back, sorry, on the downswing, so on the downswing we can see through impact as the club gets there, my head rotates early, I get a lot of comments about that, but I still create a great line from my left shoulder through my hands and into the club. So I get a very solid contact with the golf ball, makes it easy for me to hit the kind of shots I want, whether it's a draw or a fade from there. And as I work through into a very balanced finish, very, very easy. And again, not too many moving parts in there, and that's not anything that I don't normally see. So as we work onto the right hand side, I do work hard on posture. So try to keep that spine nice and neutral, and I get some good angles into my legs. And I do work hard on posture because I think the better your posture is, the easier it is to make a good golf swing. Now, if I draw a line on my tailbone, the one little thing I see in my golf swing, which does create a little bit of an issue, is something called early extension. So as I swing to the top, club gets a little bit behind me, but as I reach the top of the backswing, my club face is very, very neutral, and it's easy for me to hit any shot I need from there. But we will notice as I start my downswing, we will start to see that my hips and my pelvis moves towards the target. That encourages the kind of club to drop a little bit more behind me on the way down. 
and the club now covers my left, uh, sorry, right forearm. So we can see there the line covers there. Probably with a lot of players nowadays, though, you'd be looking for it to be more in between the forearms. That'd be slightly more neutral. But that creates me swinging the club more out to the right, which allows me to get the club face closed, which creates my little push draw. And we can see, just as the club works through, the, you can see how much the club closes. You can see there, quite close as it gets past my left shoulder. And that's just me having to work the club on my hands to square the club face up towards the target to give me the push draw I'm after. But I just work on different shaped shots and I'll see different positions in my swing relative to the shot that I'm hitting. Okay guys, so we've looked at the video analysis. Um, certainly I know I'll get lots of comments about what I do through Impact. I already get those, so looking forward to those comments. But hopefully by watching my swing and maybe me talking about why I do what I do in my golf swing, uh, might help some of you guys with your game. Uh, I am going to be doing a little video shortly that I'll put online, I'll put a link on this video when it's ready, about how you guys, if you wanted some internet coaching with me, can send me a golf swing, I can put some feedback on there for you and send it back. Uh, I do get a lot of feedback from you guys, that a lot of you would love to come for golf lessons with me, but obviously you live in either different parts of the country that's too far to travel, or different parts of the world, which makes it virtually impossible. So I will put some stuff on there anyway. So subscribe to the channel to make sure you get that video. Um, if you haven't already, obviously you guys that have already subscribed will get that one as soon as it comes out. But like I said before, I'm looking forward to the feedback you guys are going to give me about my swing. And it is something I'm going to do more and more of with the players. And I might even put the odd swing from you guys on here as well. So guys, as ever, thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Uh, hopefully see some of you guys down in the future. Stay in contact.